Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about digit star shortest path algorithm. This is the concept of graphs in data structures. First, we'll see what is digit star algorithm. It is a popular algorithm for finding the shortest distance between two vertices on a graph with non-negative edges. That is, in graph, the edges will be having certain weights. So that weight should not be negative numbers. It should be only positive numbers. This algorithm was invented by a Dutch computer scientist named Edsker W. Dijkstra in the year 1956. This maintains a set of visited vertices and a set of unvisited vertices. It starts at the source vertex and iteratively selects the unvisited vertex which is having the smallest tentative distance from the source vertex. It then visits the neighbors of the newly visited vertex and updates the tentative distances if the shortest path is found. This process will continue until the destination vertex is reached or all the reachable vertices have been visited. Now the question is whether this algorithm will work for both directed as well as undirected graph. Yes, it works for both directed and undirected graph. The constraint is the edges should be positive and the graph should be connected. For a directed graph, the edge will be having a direction. So the algorithm follows the direction of the edges when searching for the shortest path. For undirected graph, the edges will not have any direction. So the algorithm can traverse both forward as well as backward along the edges when searching for the shortest path. Now let us see the algorithm of this concept. So first step is we have to mark the source node with the current distance of 0 and the rest with infinity. And then set the non-visited node with the smallest current distance as the current node. For each neighbor n of the current node, we have to add the current distance of the adjacent node with the weight of the edge connecting the source node with the newly visited node. If it is smaller than the current distance of the node, then set it as the new current distance of the node n. Now we have to mark the current node 1 as visited. That is, this is the newly visited node. 0 is the existing node. And then we have to go to the step 2 if there are any nodes not visited yet. So this has to be repeated until we have only uh, visited nodes. All the nodes have been visited. Now let us see this example with the uh, graph. So here we have a graph with uh, 0 to 6 vertices and the edges. So the algorithm will generate the shortest path from the node 0 to all the other nodes in the graph. So for this we assume that the weight of the edges represents the distance between the two nodes. So for 0 to 1 the distance is 2. For uh, traveling from 0 to 2, the distance is 6. Our objective is we have to find the shortest path from node 0 to node 1, from node 0 to node 2 respectively till node 6. So initially, we have the resources given below. The distance from the source node to itself is considered as 0. In this example, the source node is 0. And the distance from the source node to all other nodes is not known to us. So we mark all of them as infinity. So the distance from source node to itself is 0. So for other nodes 1 to 6, we are marking it as infinity since we don't know the distance currently. And we also have an array of unvisited elements that will keep track of unvisited nodes. The algorithm will complete when all the nodes has been marked as visited and the distance between them is being added to the path. So initially we do not have any visited nodes. So we consider all the nodes as unvisited. So 0 to 6 all nodes are kept under unvisited nodes. Now first we have to start from the node 0. So here the starting node the, or the source node is considered as 0 and we are marking it as visited as uh, shown here. So once we have uh, marked as visited the color of the uh, visited node should be changed as red. And we have to add this distance here. So for uh, source node, the distance to itself will be considered as 0. So we are um, making it as 0. And next step is 
we have to find the adjacent nodes of the current node which has been visited. So, the visitor node is 0 now. So, its adjacent nodes are we have two choices that is uh, node 1 and node 2. So, among this which is having the minimum distance that we have to consider. So, this is having the distance 6 and this is having the distance 2. So, obviously, node 1 has have the uh, minimum distance. So, we can consider it and then mark it as visited and add up the distance. So, here we are marking it as visited by making it as red. Here also we are changing the color and we are adding the distance. So, from our, uh, to travel from 0 to 1, the distance is 2. So, add the distance and then uh, make it here. So, the distance between the node 0 and node 1 is 2. Next, uh, we have to consider the current node as 1. So, for this what are the adjacent nodes we have to check. So, the adjacent node of 1 is 3. So, uh, we have to move forward and uh, make that visited uh, node as visited and add up the distance. So, we are marking it the node 3 as visited and we are adding up the uh, distance. So, what is the node uh, distance between 0 and 1? 0 and 1 it is 2 and then the distance between node 1 and 3 is 5. So, if we add these two uh, distances, we will get 7. So, that 7 is updated for 3. And uh, 2 is already considered as a uh, visited node because uh, uh, we, uh, we have a path from 0 to 2. Already we have seen, uh, we have visited the node, but uh, we have not considered it for calculating the distance. So, from the path from 0 to 2 is 6. So, that has been updated here. Next, uh, our current node is considered to be node 3. So, we have to find the adjacent nodes of node 3. So, what are the possible adjacent nodes for uh, node 3? It can be either node 4 or node 5. So, for node 4, the distance is 10 and the node 5, the distance is 15. So, which is a smaller distance that we have to choose. So, so, node 4 is having the minimum distance. So, mark it as visited and add up the distance. So, node 4 is marked as visited and add up the distance. So, what is the distance? So, from node 0 to node 1, the uh, distance is 2. From node 1 to node 3, the distance is 5. And then from node 3 to node 4, the distance is 10. So, if we add up, we will get 17. So, that is updated here. Next step uh, 5. So, now uh, again we have to move forward. So, now the current node is 4. So, what is the adjacent node for this? So, it can be 6. So, uh, we have the uh, only one possible node. So, just uh, add it and then mark the node as visited. And uh, so, we can add up the distance now. So, to uh, node 0 to uh, node 1 is 2, node 1 to node 3 is, uh, uh, we will consider here, node 1 to node 3 is 5 and then uh, node uh, 3 to node 4 is 10 and node 4 to node 6 is 2. So, totally we have 19. So, 19 is made here and then uh, we have to consider the node 5 is also as visited because uh, it has been, uh, it has, it, uh, it is one of the possible combination for 3. So, that is also considered as visited and what is the distance for uh, uh, node 5 is uh, we have to traverse from node 0 to node 5. So, we are which is minimum distance that we can add. So, here we are considering 15 plus 5 plus 2. So, node 0 to 1, 1 to 3 and uh, 3 to 5. So, 22 that is being mentioned here. So, the optimal path to reach the destination is uh, vertex uh, that is from the source vertex is 19. So, that is all about the Digistras algorithm. Thank you.